My name is Kiati. I'm the head of the firm of Joshi Advocates. Thank you very much for joining us in this video. Uh, Joshi Advocates presents Brexit. It's uh, brilliant. It's great for all of us. I'm going to explain um, by giving two reasons. No, three. Uh, it's Wednesday. I'm feeling generous. So let's begin. All right. So um, after Brexit, the European nationals and their family members will enjoy a much more generous uh, immigration rules. Uh, we've done a video on this previously. Please find the link below in the description box. What essentially it is, is currently, if a European national seeks permanent residence in the UK, uh, he or she will have to inform the Home Office that he or she has for five years, continuous period, either worked or self-employed or self-sufficient or student. The gap in the five years could be allowed only in particular circumstances such as pregnancy or injury at work or retirement. So um, after Brexit, March 2019, the European national simply has to show with documentary evidence that he or she has lived in the UK. That's it. So it's brilliant. That's one. Two, uh, it will bring a sense of equality to uh, European nationals compared to the British citizens. Let me explain. Currently, um, and even after Brexit, during the transition period, March 2019 until December 2020, European nationals are bringing uh, family members to the UK and say a European national wants to bring uh, her husband over to the UK, she simply has to prove the marriage certificate that she's working in the UK uh, and you know they have a relationship that's genuine. That's at present and the application is free. After Brexit, it will be the same approach but all she would have to prove is that there is a marriage and she's living in the UK and the husband's overseas, right? Now let's compare this to a British citizen who is willing to bring uh, her husband from outside the EU and UK. The British national has to go through five requirements and specified evidence. If one of these evidence documents haven't been provided, the application will be refused by the Home Office. So the British citizen has to go through a lot more stringent procedure uh, in respect of documents uh, when making an application for her husband to come to the UK. And the application is not free, it's £1,500. So after December 2020, if a EA national seeks to bring her husband uh, to the UK, uh, for example, the procedure would be the same as a British national is facing at present. So once we come out of uh, European Union, it's actually placing the British citizens on the same footing as EA nationals because EA nationals would have to go through the similar or the same procedure. So it's fair and bringing equality to the table. And even more, uh, uh, in an example to uh, inform of equality and how it's being furthered, due to Brexit, it say uh, it's bringing equality to the job market. Now, allow me to give you an example. Say a Chinese um, architect wishes to come to the UK and um, how would he do that, right? So uh, he would actually have to find a company in the UK who has a tier two sponsorship license from the Home Office and that company would sponsor him and with that sponsorship he would have to make an application to the home office with particular documents uh, to show a particular salary and to show his experience and specific documents are required for this too so that's one now compare that to a european national seeking for the architect position in the uk the european national simply just comes in the uk and uh, is able to secure the architect position now, this is what the Prime Minister's argument is. It isn't fair to the job market. Jobs should be given based on skill. I'm sure everyone would agree. Jobs should not be given based on 
where an individual comes from. This is why Brexit is bringing forth equality in practice, not just in debates. It's actually being practiced and this is how it's being practiced. Jobs will be given based on skill. So say uh, after the transition period comes to an end in December 2020, say in January 2021, a European national seeks to come to the UK for a job, he or she will have to go through the same procedure as everyone else is going through who's living outside the EU, which is to find a company in the UK who has a tier two sponsorship license and that company seeking to sponsor a worker from overseas, who, which is um, going to fill the job market in the UK. So I hope these reasons are amazing and strong enough for you to finally accept that Brexit is amazing and it's going to benefit the European nationals, their family members, the British citizens and um, the economy at large. Uh, all the videos again are in the description uh, box below. One more uh, announcement. We are doing a talk, a free seminar on Brexit. The details are in the uh, description box below. Book your free seat and look forward to seeing you there in person. And I will be doing an asylum video uh, very soon because there's a lot of uh, misinformation out there. Uh, because uh, thank you very much for calling and letting me know what you're going through and allow me to address to everyone on YouTube uh, the asylum process, uh, the requirements and how Home Office considers uh, the actual claim. Well, I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much. Uh, always subscribe and feel free to contact me again. Details below. Thank you very much. Take care.